Hello, everyone. Last time we, uh, kind of sort of stayed close to home, if you will. Um, this time we're gonna go a little bit farther. Uh, I think what we want to do is sort of look over here, but, uh, so we, yeah, we saw the Zero GA, we saw Eskridge Camp, we saw the Lunar Lookout, and we saw the Dark Bramble Seed, and we, um, sort of looked inside the seed, and, um, Crash into her into somewhere and dark bramble, yeah. So we're kind of curious about that right now. I, I want to. I think that's where we want to go now. Let's do dark bramble because well, we haven't been there yet, and I'm running out of spots for where the quantum entangling uh, puzzle thing might be. Um. And, uh, well, okay, so we're, it's on the other side of the sun, really. Oh, right there. Yeah, um, I might just, uh, engage autopilot for that one because... You stoop... Okay. I thought we were going to crash back into the planet because it was breaking. We should be, you know, accelerating towards the location all the way. We'll use the autopilot because, you know, it's probably actually faster that way. Probably faster than free flying it for, for something that's just that far away because, you know, I don't have to guess or worry about overshooting or undershooting, right? Which is obviously what I'd be worried about. So here we are. So, okay, yes, there's that. And there's a distress beacon. Uh. But no quantum things. Hmm. This is really kind of just freaky. Right. Uh, what? Where'd it go? Oh, okay. You know, it said it was this far away, and now, you know what? It says it's a lot farther away than it says it was. So you're way over there. And then... The stress beacon is... Over there? Um... I feel like visiting the dude guy first. That light. The light that just fit away. I don't really like the feeling of that. I... I don't like this planet. This planet is... Freaky. Like, seriously. Seriously freaky. What? What? It's like... So it's there, and it's there, and it's there. Oh, 
come on. Now it's 800 meters away again. Again. It's like, it's, it's, it's portals. It's, it's, it's portals, but scary as snot portals. It's just scary snot portals. Jesus. Well, that looks, you know, pretty promising. <laughs> I hate it. I hate everything about it. Uh, look, it's, 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 it's the, 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 the gross, gross thing. Okay, R roll. R roll. Um. Hoy. Not really sure if we're in a spot that I can really park in. I'm close enough. Have my suit on. Let's uh, identify the signal. Hey! It's Feldspar! He has a gravity crystal. And my ship is not floating away, which is a good thing. Hey, dude! Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one comes in here. Well, ever actually, which means you're the second Hearthian to ever reach Dark Bramble after me, of course. Well done! Say, it's you! You made you an astronaut, and you haven't blown yourself up yet! Good for you! Haha! <laughs> we... you thought you were dive. Yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, you're alive. Um... You know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Um, this is a good story. So I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep. Hey, how'd you do that? How did how, how did you do that? Because I can't get there. I, I need to, to, to go there. So you went here. Cruising for a while, dodging the old massive international vine, bristling with thorns, around this huge anglerfish the base I've ever seen. Um, uh, knocks me to vine and to crash. Okay, blammo. Uh... And so I put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. It would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my own setup here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Uh, I can't believe... Wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it's a story. Yeah, sure. Uh, or not. Um... You reached the core of Giant Seat! How did you do that? Uh, that's a wild one. But since you're asking, I assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? Yes. Okay. What? On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big... Hollow... Vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the trail end of the anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flicking... Frick... Fli something. Uh, there's a dark bramble seed. Yeah, that's as Trick will tell you. So much as a glance and dark bramble's direction, there's usually a, f a fifth, used to be a fifth planet where dark bramble is now. This infernal plant appears at the core and keeps growing and growing and growing until it shatters the planet and scatters its pieces across space. Now get that seed you found sort of real quick like. I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And I tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Yes, okay. Um, what else we got here? I found Nomi writing that the anglerfish is blind, so the blasted things do have a weakness, meaning my fly as fast as I can approach dealing with them could have been... had a bit more thought. Um, at least it didn't eat me, all the well ends well, huh? Huh. So I wonder if I can blind them with a flashlight. Hmm. Um, or if I could not blind them with... And if they're blind... Maybe being really quiet does it? Um, 
Uh, should I tell ground control to get you? Frankly, I kind of yeah. Okay. Um, being best there ever was. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, what happened to the anglerfish? Um, it was like that when it got here. The anglerfish was chewing on the vine and eating the seed, and the seed grew and grew in the poor fishes. Right. Ouch. Uh, skills was good to find. The light keeps the fish away, you know. See, it's her territorial, so they must avoid each other. That's why I set camp here, huh? Um. Right. Okay, straight past the tail of the anglerfish seal, you're still flicking right and fall. Fall down, you know, might find my own ship or what's left of it anyway. Uh, I don't really care. So. I feel like. Uh, let's try to explore here. While I'm here. While I'm here, um. See, this opening, a big enough to launch on through. Your probe will tell you that the probe is in two places at once. But I don't think it's wrong because the space is, but the speed looks small, see? But inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is the space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside the seeds, at least it's my theory. Keep in mind that while you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get in lost inside forever. Huh. So, so there's a viney thing? Alright. I'm not really sure if I want to do the viney thing yet. That's that's very funny that the, 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 the seed goes from location A to location right back to where it began. I bet you could probably set it up so it goes in an infinite loop because that would be hilarious. Ouch. Okay. Um. Felt's bar. Um, on a completely unrelated note, that was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep, if I were you, I'd go take a walk. I'm going to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. Alright, yeah, that's, that's a flickering light in the fog. I really... Oh, hey, well, there's this, there's this ship. And there's Big Hollow Vine. I, uh, I'll tell Mission Control where Feldspar is, you know, during the time loop. Or after the time loop. Cool. So there's big hollow vine here, huh? And I guess we're going down the big hollow vine because <laughs> I, I'm like I thought the Thassiophobia planet was was the giant's deep, but you know this is pretty bad too. Uh, this the or no now we're getting pretty claustrophobic because the uh, the big the big the big vine is um uh no longer so big. Where the snot am I? You notice we're not getting duplicate signal bits. Whoa. Okay, look, that looks like one of the jellyfish. Hey, uh, trip four, entry, I'm not going to say not one, crash is three, <laughs> boring crash, this is zero, <laughs> personal best. Uh, now some of these uh, beasties outside Giant's Deep, they're awfully useful back there, maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. 
Uh, blurry, it tastes terrible, the outside is all rubbery and tough, maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish is insides from being zapped by electricity. Uh-huh. I'm going to... Inside the jellyfish interior cavity to see if what's in there... Probably not. But, like, I thought that this thing was some way into the core. I don't really know if I want to touch it. It looks like it would be pointy or hurty or ouchy. Because, you know, red means ouchy. But when I tried to, like, ride it, it hurt. Um. Oh, hello. Uh, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad. <laughs> <laughs> it would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess the jellyfish are only useful for insulation from activity. Do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Also, ew. Um... So was I just not, you know, doing it right in order to... This sounds like a great way to get killed. Messing with this. So let's not fall down there. It's sort of just... Uh, well, you know, I didn't actually mean to do that, but, um... Yep. Well, the scout said it was mostly safe, right? So... Oh, hey, look, we're at the, uh, sort of top of the world, right? Um... Now, where is the... that's Feldspar. What about the Distress Beacon? That's... somewhere over there, huh? Is it in here? Okay. Well, okay. So, so the Distress... so, 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 it's, so we're playing Inception here, right? And, um... Each inception is like uh, sort of I, I don't know. Um, actually, let's keep that out. Okay. Fine. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in there. Let's go towards this one, because I'm really rapidly running out of air. Um, very, very rapidly running out of air. I hope this isn't a fish that's gonna eat me. I suppose I could like launch my scout thing and be like, hey. Okay, ha ha ha. Aren't we lucky? Yep, 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 I know. Yep, I know. We're all good. We made it just the right spot in the right amount of time. Go ahead and refill this stuff. Um, so, Feldspar's camp. Um, frozen jellyfish, yes. Okay. Alright, let's find that, uh, uh, distress signal, huh? Uh, no, 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 yes. I have no idea how to get out of here. Again, we're 
sort of somewhere between TARDIS and Inception. Huh? This sort of feels like. Oh, this is creepy snot. I. Nothing about this is fun or exciting at all. See, that one's. That, see, that's a thing that's moving. That's a thing. That's a fish. That is a evil death fish of, of doom. Well, I think, sort of, unfortunately, it's sort of blocking the way out, huh? Or is it? I, I don't know. I'm going to avoid the fishy. Avoid. No. Well, I mean. Okay, well, no, we're not going to sneak in there. Wait, no, that's just the. Oh, you know what? 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 If I fire a. Uh... Oh, no, it's not really working. I wonder if we die. Let's just hang out with Feldspar for the end of the world. Because, like it or not, we're not going to be able to get out of here and do anything interesting before the end comes. So let's see how Feldspar deals with the time loops, huh? that? No, that's just the anglerfish thing. Um... Uh, yeah, space is weird here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, we found Feldspar, and we can tell ground control. I'm not really sure who ground control is, where Feldspar is. And he's gonna be like, How did you know that Feldspar is there? You haven't even left yet. And then we're gonna be like, I don't know, but you should probably try to get him because I'm not. Like, it's. It's friggin'. I don't know. There's like the red dot, right? Like, like what's the red dot? That seems kind of scary. But I think we'll probably head back to Dark Bramble here and uh, sort of see where things go from there. But for now, let's go ahead and take a little break.